Everyone loves Diva. Despite being more than 10 years old, it is still regarded as one of the best software synthesizers. And today I'll check out why. I will talk about the best features of the synth and also I will share some sounds made by me. So let's go! You can read on the webpage that the filters are at the heart of Diva's analog sound. A combination of real-time circuit simulation and zero delay feedback design gives Diva its remarkable sound. That means that Urs Heckman, the owner and main developer of UHI, created its own technology to replicate analog circuits. Now, I don't know how well will YouTube translate the sound, but with this quote in mind, let's listen to the default patch. And for me, it sounds gorgeous. It's fat and crispy like you expect from some analog synths, especially something like a MOOC, but I will go to emulations in a minute. That's why the first patch is so simple, yet lets you feel the analog character of this synth. So the first reason on why Diva is so loved is because it's one of the best software synthesizers that replicate analog circuits. Take that analog character and start checking other oscillators and filters so you feel different flavors. Which takes me to the next point. Other reason on why Diva is so unique is how it's built. It's not an emulation of one synthesizer, and you may say it's not even an emulation of different synths. What Diva does is that it emulates different modules of different synthesizers so you can combine each one as you want. We have oscillators from the Mini Moog, Roland Jupiter 6 and 8 by changing the shape, Juno 60 with some Alpha Juno waveforms, the Coreg MS20, and the digital oscillators from Roland JP8000. On the filters, we also have the Mini Moog, Juno 60 or Jupiter 8, we have the multimode that comes from the Jupiter 6, the Dirty filters of the MS20, and we have the filter of the Oberheim SEM. Finally, we got the envelopes of the Mini Moog from the Juno 60 or Jupiter 8 and from the Jupiter 6. So if you want Moog oscillators with an MS20 filter and Roland envelopes, you have it. And it sounds amazing. I have to say it's really weird that we don't find this too often in other synthesizers. I mean, we have some other synthesizers with classic wave shapes or different filters, but Diva is more than that. It's not only that you can choose certain types of features, it's something more similar to, I don't know, a Frankenstein synthesizer. Other amazing features are the if the analog sound wasn't enough, Diva has the Trimmers tab. With this you can add drift to the voices, detuning and more variations so you get a more analog character as analog synths have some instabilities in terms of parameters, tuning and so on. You also can add some variants to the cutoff, the envelopes, the pulse width and the glide. So Diva lets you really craft your sound on every detail. Now Diva is still a lot more than just something to emulate analog sounds. It also have nice LFOs, modifications to add more modulations to the different parameters, and also it has really nice effects. <laughs> So the quality of these parameters lets you create from simple but powerful patches to experimental madness. What's great about it is that even if you are not into classic synths, you can get amazing modern sounds with Diva. And because of that, it's not weird that today's electronic music producers really love to use Diva in their productions. Of course, there are a lot more of reasons on why Diva is so amazing, but to me, these four features that I mentioned are what makes this synth a really beloved piece of software. <laughs> Thank you.
By the way, this video took a lot of time to make, so it would be amazing if you give it a like. Not only that, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Thank you in advance. Check out my Patreon, you can get a lot of benefits and free presets from every video that I make. I also have a free Diva preset pack right here, so go and download it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.